just to give you a comparison, this is, I already kind of opened this already, uh, from Walnut Hollow. I ordered on Amazon roughly about eight to nine dollars. As you can see, you get the numbers along with the hands, the dial. And this is plaid. I picked it up from Walmart around five dollars. Um, probably easy to install just like this one. As you can see, the sizes are pretty similar. Um, the only drawback is obviously you don't get the numbers. And to me, if you don't like this color, you can actually just spray paint it to a different color if you want. Just let that dry out. Um, this is actually the first time I'm actually going to try to put this together with the, with the cloth face itself. I uh, just finished it. Just waiting for the stain and the polyurethane to actually dry. It uh, looks pretty good. Kind of like the gloss effect. Um, I might run over another layer on it just to darken it up. Uh, I noticed that if I just layer it up some more with a darker color, like the pecan color, it actually looks like a shading effect around the edges and stuff like that. So, all right, let's see how this goes. Also, with this design I'm doing, I'm not going to put the actual numbers on there um, just because of the layout of the design that I had already prepared. Uh, I don't want to mess with putting on the numbers and kind of going over the design itself. And on the back, Pretty simple instructions. Okay, got that off. Put the washer. Put that back. I'm not going to worry too much about the alignment in the back for the moment. Just put the stuff together. Washer back on. Basically, they take this off. We look at them back. That's the adjuster for the time. Just make sure you put your finger on there to lock it so it has some resistance, and then you can actually turn this off. If you don't do that, it's just going to go with it. There you go. I'm assuming this is supposed to actually go all the way down then, if that's the case, because it's still unstable. Well, kind of learning as we go. Let's see. So we can push this down. All right. So we can just eyeball it. Make sure it's pretty level. Yep. I don't know if you can see it, but you can kind of see which one is the top. It's more coarse on the bottom side. Make sure your hand tightening is probably enough. Okay, let's see how this looks. Just want to make sure they don't touch each other.
Cutting edge. I'm just gonna put it over. Nice. Okay. So you can kind of see. Just make sure. Yeah. Pretty spaced out evenly. It's gotta be weird, you know, sometimes a little bent, as you can see. It's not really straight. But it's a thin piece of metal, so you don't want to go too crazy and try to bend it. This should go. Alright, moment of truth, put the battery in. Well folks, it works. Well, first clock I ever made. Pretty happy with the result. Alright, if you guys got any questions on how I did this, uh, what materials I used, where I ordered it from, just comment. And I promise to reply to you as soon as possible, all right? Have a good one, guys.